tonight, the Santa Rosa Village apartments are still dealing with flood damage weeks after Hurricane Hannah. Residents say they've been left in the dark about updates to renovations. Local 23's Jeremiah Wilcox spoke to, to residents and is digging for answers as to why changes have not been made. The residents here can't live like this. It's hazardous to everybody. Inside the subsidized Santa Rosa Village apartment complex, residents are left with just the walls. The roofs are falling apart. There's no installation, so we could, you know, sleep comfortable at nighttime. We hit the face and voice of one resident living in the complex. He says he's fearful he'll be evicted for speaking out. Something has to be done. During Hurricane Hannah, crews came in and removed drywall and insulation as a preventative measure for mold. For months, he's seen unwanted guests in his home. There's roaches, there's rats, there's lizards coming through the walls. I mean, it's hazardous to everybody. The infection they carry from outside in, the people that live here are getting, getting sick. He says he's reached out multiple times to managers to fix exposed electrical wire and holes to no avail. You ask them to get things fixed, they don't fix them, but when the rain comes along, they want the rent. I mean, we need things fixed as well. With the, you know, the, the air and the insulation being out, has that made you even more sick? Yes. A lot sick. It's like I can't get my breeze, my air. I have to use other asthma treatment or inhalers so I could get my breath back or walk outside because it's too hot. I reached out to Volunteers of America, the group that managed these apartments. I spoke to Angela King, who's the CEO and president. She says it's a lengthy process after a natural disaster to repair damages through their insurance. Uh, it seems fraught with um, delay because of the requirements for how many bids we get, the scope of work we have to submit, uh, who has to approve it, all those kinds of things. We have three properties in the valley, and we did offer uh, to see if folks would want to relocate during this uh, this time and that was not something that folks chose to do some residents couldn't find a place to go the stability check doesn't get you that far while tarps were made over fallen shingles and valley heat penetrates exposed apartments residents say they just want transparency putting local first in santa rosa i'm jeremiah wilcox Volunteers for America staff say they are in the process of finalizing repair options with their insurance company. 13 damaged roofs and 15 apartments will be fixed in the next few months.